Hello, my most amazing and creatively intelligent artists. Welcome back to Art Class. For today's class, we are going to be creating a flip flop doodle art. Yeah. And we are going to be using lines and patterns. Now, we have different types of lines. We have diagonal lines, we have vertical lines, we have horizontal lines, we also have curve lines and zigzag lines. Now, these lines are found all around us. We have curve lines that form roads, we have diagonal lines that form the mountain slope going up, we have horizontal lines that are found at the sea horizon where the sky meets the sea. We also have our vertical lines like our trees and of course we have our zigzag lines which are like our stairs. So the side of the stairs going up we have our zigzag lines. Now in order for us to get a pattern what do we do? We repeat one element of art. Now for our element of art, we are going to be repeating our lines to get our awesome artwork. Now we are repeating numerous lines to get our flip for artwork. Are you ready to do it? I know that I am. Let's go. Okay, we will be using our pencils, markers, crayon, and paper. The first thing that we are going to do is to draw a small lowercase n, or an upside down U shape. Then we're going to bring a curve line down, like half a rainbow line, and we're doing it on both sides coming down. Then we're going to find the center and we're bringing another curve line down, a small V in the middle, and we're bringing both lines to meet each other. Remember, if I'm moving too fast, you can always pause the video. Bring your lines down, make sure they meet. Good job, guys, you are doing an excellent job. Now we are going to be doing what I call overlapping. So you're going to bring your line down, then inside you're going to do a small curve line and allow your lines to meet. Now we're going to do a big rainbow line. This rainbow line will be used for the top of our flip-flop. Now we're doing a common U or an upside down rainbow line for the bottom of our flip flop and we're bringing a line down so that we can give our flip flop some depth. Okay, we are going to be doing the right foot. Now we're repeating the process starting with a small common N, then bringing our lines down like a rainbow line, bringing our other line down to meet so we create a upside down V. Bring our line down inside. Remember, if, we're, if I'm moving too fast, feel free to pause the video. Bring your big rainbow line at the top. And at the bottom, we are doing our common U, our lowercase U, or an upside down rainbow line. And we're going to be adding depth to our flip flop. We are almost finished, guys. Now remember to add your small line in the middle. I'm going to use my marker to make my lines brighter. You do not have to brighten your lines. It is up to you.
Now it's my favorite part of the assignment. I'm going to be adding my patterns. I'm repeating my zigzag lines for one section. I'm going to repeat my diagonal lines for another section. Remember, you can do any type of lines that you want. And I'm going to be using my curve lines to create spirals. Remember, just be as creative as you can be. All the lines that I'm using on this flip-flop, I will be using on the other. At the end, you are free to do any background that you like. Have fun, guys! Remember, you can use whatever color that you want. In order for you to create a pattern, remember you have to repeat the colors in the section so that it becomes a pattern. Have fun guys and remember if I'm moving too fast, you can always pause the video. fun with you today my art friends see you next time